This is the melody for the 12 bar blues, the practice. The challenge in this song is that we are moving around from one position to another. Set your hand up as if you were playing a D major scale. We're not playing D major, we're actually playing an E Dorian scale. We're going to play our D, E, and G. Start on your E. Wait. Wait. Now step down. Wait. Wait. Let's try that together. So you're going to be playing E with finger two, G with finger four. Your thumb is on D. So E, E, G, G, E. Your turn. Let's do that two times in a row. Ready? Go. One more time. The third time you play it, you add on a little turnaround at the end. Try the E, D, E. Go. Let's add our E, G, E, D, E. Ready? Watch first. Wait, wait. Try that with me. Ready, go. Wait, wait. So we have set our hand up that in a position that looks almost like D major. Now, do you see where your pinky is? We're going to put finger four on that B flat. So we are going to walk down and our top finger will be on the black key and then we're walking down on white keys. Watch again. B flat A G E. Try that with me please. One more time, go. As you get better at piano, it's very important that you not try to set your hand up in one place and leave your fingers all touching. The secret is to only touch the finger that is playing and aim your other fingers to where they need to go. Notice how I have a bigger gap between my pointer finger and my thumb and my other middle fingers are closer together. I'm going to play that pattern again. Your turn, go. Now, do you see where my thumb is? I'm going to put my pointer finger on the same note, that E. So I shifted my hand back to where it was before. Wait. Wait. This is the whole melody. Play it once again. One more time, add on our extra note, wait, wait, play that exact line all over again, repeat. 
repeat. Here's our extra tail ending. Wait. Wait. Move your hand over. Here we go. Play it once again. Put your pointer finger where your thumb was. Wait. That's the entire melody.